Hello everybody and welcome back to Critter Cove, where today we are going to be filling up our oxygen tanks. Well, I think we already did, didn't we? We're waiting for them to be finished right now. And once we've done that, we can dive deeper under the sea and go and find that stuff for anchor. In the meantime, while that's happening, let's see how our... Um, I think we were making some gears. Or something. We were making something. We were making a metal bar, a plate, sorry, so we could make some gears. So let's get that going. So we've got five gears to do. We've got a metal bar that we also need to do. This is our um, metal beam, sorry. And this is our uh, commissions from the commission board. Because I need money so we can get tourists to come to the town. So that's what we're working on now. We're getting a thousand monies together so that we can get tourists in the town. So we've got a couple of the houses all done up. And the houses up there are all done up as well. They still look a little bit shabby, but you know, then they're, they're habitable now at least. Are you alright, Tucker? Hey Shilab! Have you considered upping the intensity of your routine? I bet you'd do great at it. Let's talk. Phew, I'm sweating so bad you could probably drown if you stand too close. I need a towel or something, dog. You best stand at least three feet away, Shilab. I'm like a walking rainforest over here. Yum. Let's see if the tanks are done. <laughs> Old Tucker, he works so hard on his workouts, doesn't he? Right, so I have filled the empty tank. So now we've got full tanks. Um, let me just see how many we have now. So... Does it tell me? Yeah, so we've got two full tanks of air. And I can put my scuba mask on. And then let's go and find the undersea thing we need to find. Let's see on the map where it is. We're definitely going to need to take the boat out there. Wow, that's quite the trip. Alright, I'm, I'm off. Anchor, I'm off to do your bidding. Okay, so what direction do we need to go first? I think it was directly to the east. Which is why I'm going west. Oh, it is directly to the west anyway. We were going in exactly the right... Even though I didn't know the words to say, my brain knew what I was trying to do. on the, the things, on the flowers. So I think it's beyond this island. Yeah, I need to go around the other side of it. Okay. We need to go around this side. No, no, you keep, you have to keep going. Had it on autopilot. There's another. There's another island there. Look. Oh, I'm slightly going the wrong way. So let's go this way. Now we're going the right way. It's right in the middle of the sea. I'm really glad that anchor marked it on the map. Good grief. And it's a blue shipping container with a blue parcel inside it that we're looking for. And we are about there. All right then. I guess we dive from here. And see what we can find. Let's go. Down we go. Oh, I see. I see a couple of um, blue looking kind of shipping containers. That one's got blue on the outside of it. There's quite a few shipping containers here. Although I would say they're more like green looking. I'll try this one first. What's in here? Can I get in here? Yep. I need to chop these. There we are. Blue parcel. Found. Marked parcel. Marked cargo done. Right. But what else is down here, if anything? Is there anything good? I've got a couple of tanks of oxygen. And I know. And I've got the ability to fill it up now. So I should just go and explore every time I come down here. Dismantle that, yeah. I 
Went another, that's another vending machine. A sunny t-shirt. Okay. It's raining under the water. How crazy. Uh, then there's a shipping container up here. And then there's one right up the top. Treadmill, mechanical parts. Another one over here. I figure when I go to these places, I should just try and do as much as I can. Another barbell. I don't know when I'm going to need a barbell, but I might need it at some time. You never know. It might come up later. And then I'll be able to make it rather than have to go find one. <gasps> Hi, fishies! They're jellyfish. Oh, and they're cute ones. They're not like mean ones that sting me or anything. A thing for the bricks, lovely. And I've learned barbells. Woo there's a couple of things out here to grab. Oh, there's a shell there. A box. There's something here. Another popcorn maker or something. Rain freeze treats. So that's an ice cream truck of some description. Cool. Right, well, I think I've been in all the shipping containers and stuff now. So I feel like I should go back to the surface before my stamina runs out, because my stamina's getting quite low as well. But that was super cool. And how did that do for my... Oh, i still got spare oxygen tanks. Wow, okay. Well, that's not so bad. The storm has brought a bounty of new salvage. Wow. There's something marked on the map there. Oh yeah, an old boat. So that might replenish the salvage or something? Not really sure. Anyway, I've got tea to drink, so... Let's have a good old sip on that while I'm starting my, my way back. I, lo I do love that when I'm like, is that the island? And then I see the lighthouse and I'm like, yep, that's my island. I think that's such a good thing. Okay, so we're going to get back and give Anka his parcel. And then we'll see what else needs to happen. And then I can check on my commissions, because a lot of them need to be done today, I think. Hi, Anka. Ahoy, have you retrieved the chest I asked for, Captain? I'd have. Aye, that'd be just the cargo I asked for. You got me gratitude, Captain, and hearty heartily sorry at that. What's in it? Uh, it's naught but uh, saltwater taffy. Hey, my favourite kind. And hard to come by these days. Be extra salty from being in the sea. But you needn't concern yourself with the snacking habits of old Anchor. Here, your well deserved booty for a job well done. I get some money for that. Nice. 50. Perfect. That's really good. Uh, I take that off because I look a bit silly running around with that on, right? And I'm now at 282. I'm saving up for a thousand. Once I get to a thousand, then I can. Uh, get tourists coming to the island. Okay. I'll check on these commissions then. So I think the gears are done. My five gears. And my metal beam is done. Nice. And do I have all the other metal beams or are they in my chest? I 
I'm not seeing them. It said I had four of them. Yeah, there they are. Cool. Shift and click to break stacks. Storage boxes are shared across the world. Is there a way to like sort the boxes though? That would be very nice. I don't know. I don't know if that's something. Use on your friend's house interior. Industrial wainscoting. Right, so it's like a decoration set for my friends. Ooh. Well, it was, it was Tucker that gave it to me, so... Ah, right, I can't go in Tucker's house right now, because Tucker's not there. I've not been able to go in any of their houses so far. I mean, I know all the houses have interiors. Interesting. Renard is closed? What? I suppose it is early in the morning right now, though. So, let's go and see who needs what. Who needs what? Who, who's... Who's commission? Tucker's commission. That's uh, yours. Okay. Just gonna sit here and recharge my batteries. You know how it is, dog. I have something for you. Your commission! That's what I'm talking about. This is just what I asked for. You totally rule. There's your money! 216 doubloons. We are now on 498. Halfway there. There are no more commissions on the board today. But there's one more person to hand a commission into, so that is Rusty wants five gears. So, Rusty, 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 where are you? You in your house? This is Rusty's house. Rusty is not home right now, so that means Rusty is somewhere around the island. Have a look around on the dock. No Rusty. This will be better once they're a bit more friendly with me, once I've done more quests and things for them. Sammy is the only one with the friendship bracelet right now. So everyone else, I just have to run around and hope I bump into them. Rusty, uh, might be up like, around the museum and lighthouse maybe. Thinking that's where they might be. Around the beach here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna head back down into the yard and I'm going to water my plants. Oh, did I already do that? Maybe I did. Oh, yeah, we were part way through the day, weren't we, when I finished last time and I think I'd already watered them. So where's that rusty rusty boy? Where are ya? Where are ya? Rusty. So we get some height, maybe I can see them. I can see Tucker down there. Can't see Pokey or Sammy or anyone else at the moment. I love that I can walk across these umbrellas, that's absolutely fantastic. Rusty! I have gears for you, but I don't know where you are. Rusty! Well, no Rusty. Look over at the lighthouse. Maybe I'll go over there. But, oh, there's some drumsticks here. Never have too many drumsticks. Okay, I'll head back to their houses. It's getting later at night now. They might have all returned. That's Pokey. Pokey, where are you going? You seem rusty. Hmm. 
Not over by the lighthouse, I don't think. I just need to wait for him to return home, I think. There's Renard. Hey, Tucker. I can tell by your expression you're in awe of my rippling muscles. It's cool. I'm often in awe of myself. Well, that's nice and all, but... I think I finally figured out how to maximise my workouts. If I lift while I'm asleep, I can almost double my output. What do you think about that, Shelab? How can you lift in your sleep? It's called muscle memory. As long as my muscles know what's going on, I can just be snoozing away. Ah, I see. Ah, Rusty, there you are. Hey, Shelab, I need some stuff. You know, the stuff that goes in the homes. I don't have enough stuff, and I think I need more. I'll get you some furniture. I also have something for you. There's your gears. How did you know I was looking for this? Can you read mine? So are you reading mine right now? Because I'm thinking, thank you, very hard. 144, so we're up to 642 doubloons, which is perfect. Now then, so. We need to... What was it? It was a engine, a pipe, and a gear for Riggs O'Malley. Furniture for Rusty. Mm, do I have any furniture in my inventory or my box or anything already? Because I'm being given furniture all the time. Let's go have a look. Because I might be able to just do that straight away. Oh look, there's a chair. You can have one of those chairs. I don't need them. Right, Rusty, I think this chair might do. Uh, oh, where have you gone? Did you go in your house? Can I go in people's houses now? I'm not home right now. Well, where did you go then? Ah, Rusty. Never find him. Can't even find him in the daylight, let alone in the dark. Okay, so the other things that I can do right now is to make myself a fishing rod. And make the pipe and all that stuff for Riggs O'Malley. So I think that's what we're going to do now. <clears throat> did I make the metal pipe already? Because I might have done. Or did I need that? For, I needed that for something else, I think, actually. So let's, let's firstly make a metal pipe. Then I think I just want to make as much, like, I just want to make a lot of metal bars. Like 20. And that's going to take a while, so I'm going to sleep while that happens. Oh, I've got my thread as well. That's part of my fishing rod, isn't it? So for my fishing rod, I need... Two gears and two metal pipes. Oh, I'm making one metal pipe. I need another two as well. Is it done? Yeah. Okay. So I need two gears and two metal pipes. So I'll make the other metal pipe and then in the morning we'll make the plates and gears. But in the meantime I think I'm going to go to bed because... Phew, my legs are just about shot. I'm going to sit for a minute. Take a quick rest, Whiskers. Let's talk. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheila. I had trouble sleeping last night. I kept imagining there was a monster under my bed. When I checked, it was just a dirty shirt, a basketball, and a half-eaten sandwich. That sandwich is pretty scary, though. Okay, you need to tidy your room then, Sammy, don't you? Clearly. My goodness. Why is there a half-eaten sandwich on your floor? Sleep until morning. Good morning, world. Right, so the first thing I want to do is check and see if there's any more commissions on that board, because they made me good money. Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Maybe over the next coming days there will be some more. Clearly did them too fast. So I'll work on the quests that I am already working on. So we need to make a couple of plates. 
so that we can start making gears. I've got two metal pipes, uh, so I've got a third metal pipe. I need to make a simple engine as well. Sorry, I keep saying simple engine, but I think it's a simple motor we need. So I shall make a simple motor. I have the metal pipe and I just need the gears. How many gears do I have? None. Oh, man. I always do this to myself. Right, so that's that's the first gear. On the go. And then in 30 seconds we'll have another one. So while we do that, while we're waiting for that, I'll water my plants out here. They're starting to look good now. Cool. Well, that took me like three seconds. So that plate will be done in just a second. And then I want to put another plate on because we need a third gear. We need two for the fishing rod and we need one for the uh, oil rig. So let's make... Oh, no, 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 no. One more metal plate. Gears are nearly done. Got another gear on the go, and then we've got a third gear. So I'm wondering, well, I do need to go back to... What's that, another dive spot? What, what would I even be looking for there? Give Rusty a new piece of furniture. Okay. Let's see if we can find Rusty. Who are you? Are you tourists? <laughs> Waddles, let me tell you something. I love shopping while on vacation. Time for me to do something I love, stinky. I heard that Critter Cove is supposed to have great shops. I'm going to find out for myself. <gasps> Minty, let me tell you something. I love shopping. Oh, right. Yeah, fresh. Fresh. Minty fresh. Tulio. I really wanted to buy a few souvenirs near where I was here, but there's nothing for me to buy. Critter Coast needs more shops. Okay. Yeah, they want to buy stuff. They want to shop. I love that. I got my first batch of tourists. There's Sammy. Let's check if um if they're in, if Rusty's in. Rusty's sleeping, okay. When does Rusty wake up then? I, I don't know. It, so is there like a... Look! Our first tourist boat! <gasps> wow! That's so cool. I'm so happy about that. Right. But they just want a shop. So if I have a look at now the uh, the tourist information, you can see that I've got two buildings out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, there's six more to build. One of one of which will be a shop, no doubt. All right, let's check on these gears and plates. So I've got a plate over here. So it's one more gear we need, and then I think we have everything. So I can make the fishing rod now. And then we just got to do the things for uh, for rigs. Oh, Mally. Here we go. One fishing rod. That's me and my fishing rod. Okay, cool. And while I was making that, the gear was getting done. So I have the simple motor. I've got two simple motors, actually. I must have made a second one, but uh, we'll need one later, I'm sure. Uh, a metal 
pipe. We don't have a metal pipe right now. Do I need to make another one? I might need to. Hang on. I'll just quickly make that just in case uh, we haven't made it. Let's make some... Um, Green eggs and scram. Can I make that? I need salt, green egg, and meat. I do have meat. I don't have the salt for it, sadly. Grilled meat. I need just meat and the jumble. Okay. I will make a meat jumble. These are very, very good early game. Uh, good early game food because it completely refills your stamina bar which is really nice when you get halfway through the day and you're like um I have no stamina left so I do need to go and talk to Barnacle uh, let's see if Rusty's is awake yet no Rusty is still sleeping okay in that case, I will go on my I will go on my travels. So we need to go and find Barnacle again, and then we need to go to Rigs O'Malley's rig. I want my boat to be like that boat. But yeah, you know, probably won't get to be like that for a while. Is that Riggs O'Malley's rig? Yeah, okay. So this is Barnacle's Island. Tiny, tiny island where you get green eggs. And then we'll go over and see Riggs. It's nice that not everyone wants to be rescued. Some of them are just cool characters. Although Barnacle might want to get rescued after we do the fishing stuff. I don't know. He seems to have his own boat though, so... Hey! Would you look at that pole? She's a real beauty. Nothing like my Paulina, of course. But a pole any fisher woman would be proud of. Hmm. You'll need to test her out. Only way to test out a new pole is to catch some fish. This island has a nice, sorry, a few nice and easy fish swimming around its shores. They practically catch themselves. How about you catch me five gupper? That should be a nice beginner challenge. Toss your line in the water, wait for a strike, cook the fish. Then keep it in your pole's sweet spot to reel them in, simple as can be. When you catch those fish, come back and show me. Inked. I am so excited to see a young angler start their journey. Inked. Right then, so I, I don't know, I don't think I need to... Oh. I don't think I need particularly to go anywhere. Oh, there. Look, there's a fish shadow already. Oh, it's Stardew Valley fishing. Okay. I'm quite expecting that, sadly. Gosh, it's not easy either. Gotcha. Is that a gupper? Yes. Okay. Got to do that five times. Well, that'll be fun. Gives you plenty of time after a strike to set the hook though. That was easier because I was expecting it. The problem with that sort of um, puzzle is that if you're not expecting that to happen, then you're already, the thing's all over the place already before you even start and you've got to then get it back under control. I am a veteran of Stardew Valley fishing though, so it's like, yeah, it's exactly the same as Stardew Valley fishing. 
But then it would be unusual for there to be any kind of fishing that I haven't seen at this point. And probably the most innovative one I've ever seen is in uh, Roots of Paca. Or Parcher, I think. I can never, I can never pronounce that properly. I've been told a couple of times how to. That wasn't a guppa, that was a squidlet. After the next fish, I'm taking a sip of tea because uh, I, I can't drink my tea while I've got my hand on the mouse, like waiting for the fish to come and see. Hydration is important, people. Take a sip of your own drink right now. Is that guppa number three? Yeah. I like that you don't particularly have to find the fish or wait for them to come to you. That's quite nice. Sometimes that's half the... Half the thing. Half the challenge is actually getting the fish to come to you in the first place. Four. Lovely. Five done. No need like uh, green eggs here today. I may as well gather them because eventually I'm going to find salt and then I'll be able to make uh, green eggs and scram. Which is obviously a play on green eggs and ham, which is something uh, it's a Dr. Seuss novel, I believe. Novel? I don't think he writes novels. Book. Fair winds to you. I have something for you. Your five guppers. Just look at these beautiful fish. It's so beautiful. Hold it together, Barnacle. The tea I didn't drink earlier. I can't help it. Seeing the first catch from a new angler is just too much emotion for me to keep inside. You've made this old fisherman proud. I think he's about to cry. A natural born fisherwoman you are. Okay, I'm fine now. Did you know? Fish are not only great for cooking, but they're also an excellent source of oil. Just need to smash them up or good like. Fish facts. You've done such a good job. I feel like I should teach you something else. Fish racks are stylish and bring just the right odour to any village. Fish village even. Okay. Take care, Sheila. Keep practicing and I bet you'll be taking on the real monsters of the sea soon. These fish aren't going to catch themselves. Alright. Fishing is okay. Complete. Fish rack. I don't know if that's just decorative or if I can actually dry fish on that. That'll be interesting to, to find out, I guess. Right, so now now we've done all of that with Barnacle. Fair winds to you. Alright, that's fine. Is Barnacle on my friends list now? No, so Barnacle must only count as like a... Okay. I see. We need to do better with check mark, don't we? I feel like though I've only I'm only a few hours in and I've got like really good um friendship with Renard, for example. Why is there like a a sea a boat here? interesting I bet that's explorable I'm gonna stay on task though and my task is oh all the way over there how do I do this to myself honestly going the right way now yes I do it because I catch sight of other things and I'm like oh I'll just and then it pulls me off course I love the whatever they are in the sky. Are they birds? Or are they leaves? I can't tell. Okay. Oil rig is in sight. Oh, 
quite a load of stuff in the water over there as well. I love that there's a whole world under the sea as well. Right, I am here. I hate trying to get onto this stupid platform. Let me up. Okay. So let's fix stuff. Simple motor replaced. Metal pipe replaced. Gear replaced. Stairs sorted. I done it. Well, I'll be a drown rat. I didn't think you could actually do that. I uh, might have underestimated you, maybe. <laughs> Name's Riggs O'Malley. I run this old rig. Right pleasure to meet you. Well, if nothing else, I'm a rat of my word. Take this blueprint. You never know when you're going to need to blast something out of your way. Dynamite? Blasting charge. Well, if nothing else, I'm a rat of my word. La la la. You said a thing or two. Ha, ah, so I did, so I did. How about I tell you the secret to farming underwater? What? All you need to do is make an aqua planter. Best way to learn how is to dismantle sunken ones that are all over the base of this rig. Go ahead and dive down, rip them apart. I'm sure you'll soon figure out how to make them. Wow. Learn the small ocean planter recipe. Underwater farming, and I have learned a blasting charge. I will also be looking at what's at the top of these stairs, just in case there's something cool up here. So that's like the ice cream truck thing again. That was a balloon cart. Oh, how many different carts are there in this game? Goodness me, and a golden egg. I'll keep hold of that. That looks that looks a bit precious. Okay. So if we dive down at the bottom of the rig, there's apparently a whole load of stuff. Uh, so let's put on my diving mask and go for a dive. Like this whole hidden world is amazing. What's this then? That's a power box. That's useful. A small ocean planter. Metal. Plenty of these power boxes down here, which is quite nice. Not quite so many ocean planters as I was maybe expecting. There's one. Got an old plunger. Oh, look at the turtle. He's amazing. Wow. I need eight of them to properly research it, so... There's a fourth one there. See if I can find any more. There's number five. I'm interested in as to what's going to happen when I have to change the oxygen bottle, whether it'll just do it for me or whether that's going to be something I have to do. Hopefully I don't die when that happens somehow. I think that might have been a shark. Thankfully, this is not Subnautica, though, or, like, a uh, raft where the, the sharks will come and get you. So that's my sixth ocean planter. 
the blue shell over there. I try and pick up shells where I see them, just so that if anyone else wants a friendship bracelet, then I'll be able, I'll be able to do it straight away. Uh, yeah, any more anywhere? Air tank connected. There we are. So as long as you've got air tanks, you can keep going underwater as long as you like. I believe as you get um, deeper, though, it's going to start to get cold. So there was something in the um, in the message on the load screen saying like uh, that you need to regulate your temperature at some point. So that's going to be quite interesting. There's another one. Okay. And that is a small ocean planter. So did I get the old oxygen tank back? When are we connected? That other oxygen tank? I'm not seeing that I did. So I am wondering whether I will need to learn to make the oxygen tanks before I fill them as well. That uh, might be a thing I have to do. Right, so I need like one more. Doesn't look like there's really anything over that way. So let's just keep looking, see if I can spot anything for that final one. There'll be one somewhere I've missed. I see it. And I know why I missed it as well, it's deeper down. small ocean planter learned I don't know what I'd like what I want to plant under the ocean particularly yet but it's good that I've got it what's that is my inventory totally full not totally full but kind of full okay that's fine that looks like part of a scuba mask or something. What I need is a boat with storage. I wonder if that'll be coming up in my future. Right then, so... Is there anything that I don't need here right now? Anything that I can pull onto my hot bar at all? No, it looks like it's only usable things like seeds and stuff like that. Mm. Okay. I'm about to throw out a shell or something like that. If he wants to give me presents. Hopefully not. Well, looks like you managed to figure out the secret of aqua farming. Good for you. You'll be able to grow a bunch of new types of plants that don't just do well out of water. Now, I must be back to work. This rig ain't going to run itself after all. By the way, if you are ever in need of oil, I've got plenty to sell. One thing this whole bucket has in spades is oil. Okay, Mr. Riggs O'Malley. That's, that's very nice of you. Uh, we are at 642. And I am on my way back to the island. Are those all dive spots? They must be. I have to finish off my tea while I uh, drive my boat, well, sail my boat back. Although it's kind of more like driving a boat because I'm not really actually using a sail, am I? So, those of you that know about nautical things, is it sailing? Or is it driving if it's a motorboat? Oh, look at those birds over to the right. They look gorgeous. There's such lovely wildlife in this now. Especially under the water. Right, 
Let's go back and say hi to Anchor. See if he's got any anything more for me to do right now. Because I am getting through the quests quite uh, swiftly right now. Yeah, this panel will be shot, I say. Foul weather and the elements must have gotten to its innards. No way about it. We won't be upgrading your ship until the whole panel... Upgrading my ship? <gasps> until the whole panel gets replaced. Sink me, but all anchor can't make fins or flippers of this. I head for the sea, not for electronics, I have I. Here be the secret how to repair the console and get the whole net tangled system working again. The owner's manual. Thanks. So, control panel blueprint. Anchor didn't understand much of what he read, but did spy you'd be needing a damaged control panel to complete the repair. Fortunately, I'd be knowing where you can find one from my travels. There'd be a sunken building off the coast of Shallow Sands. You'll be finding what you need there. When you get the panel replaced, come let old Anchor know how it went. Having a ship upgrade station be a useful boon to be having. Yes, a ship upgrade station. That sounds amazing. All right, I'm going to take off my... Take off my... Oh, I can't even take off my scuba gear right now. That is how full my inventory is. So let's go and uh, sort that out. I have far too much stuff in there. So I'll be keeping the food. Honestly, the keys could probably go somewhere. Can they go in the wardrobe? Oh, they can. Okay, I'm going to put my keys in the wardrobe. I don't know what they're going to open. Just going to put everything I can away. And everything that doesn't stack can just go into the other chest. Which needs to be like basically everything. I just want to have green eggs in there. No, apparently I don't. Eventually I'm going to have to sort these out, but for now, no. Probably need to keep that. metal plates and stuff. Alright then. I'm gonna put the journals instructions and things into the um, wardrobe I think. Okay, I think we're good. So, I can now finally take my scuba mask off. Do I have a way of making new oxygen bottles though? That's what I want to know. Let me quick look around. A small air tank. So I can make a small air tank. I think I need an old air tank to make it. Okay. Okay. Small air tank requires tank refill station. Hmm. Can I do any... Small aircraft tanking. All right, rusty tank. I don't think I can make the rusty tank, so I'll have to keep an eye out for those when I'm around the place. At the moment, I do have a couple of extras. But where's that rusty gun? Aha, there you are. Sheila, I'm totally in serious need of your help. Zing! I found this furnace thing and it won't give me my money. <laughs> I have something for you. A lovely chair for your house. There you go. 
Oh, neat. I suppose I can put this in my house. It should take up space and collect dust. Super cool. Oh, do you want something to collect dust in your house, too? Well, here you go. Maybe our dust bunnies can have a play date sometime. Classic wainscoting. Okay, so can I, like, decorate my walls with this? Oh, that's cute. I like that. That, that gives us a little bit of a, an uplift, doesn't it? I like that classic one particularly. It's nice. Thanks, dude. That's awesome. All right, so. I need to work on this uh, control panel then, don't I? And also, yeah, we're working on more tourists, no more problems, but I need to sell some stuff for that probably or do some more commissions. No hurry though. Apparently the ship upgrade system has a bad panel. Anchor asked me to fix it. Once I get it fixed up, I'll be able to start adding useful upgrades to my ship. Hmm. I'm guessing that's not something I can make just here. Let me just check on my... Gonna take a bit of figuring out, sorry. Great panel. I'm not seeing it. I know I was given the, the stuff to make it, but mm, I'll find it in my book. Mm. Control panel. Try tracking the quest. Okay, it looks like the control panel's completely shot and needs to be replaced. Anka gave me plans on how to make a new one. I need to gather up a few materials, including a damaged control panel. Uh, once I have the new control panel, I just install it and the system should work again. Okay, well, let's at least find the damaged control panel. Let's go find that. Head out west to the island, and I think it's just at the right hand tip of the island there. I think it might be around here somewhere. Let's have a look. A little bit further here and we are bang on okay the sunken manor Ooh. this looks an interesting dive spot oh wow that is pretty darn cool Ugh, these annoying people are on the TV again. They just won't shut up about how we need to prepare for the worst. So boring. Fortunately, Wonky Network is still running fun shows. Nothing but good vibes and good news there. There's this new competition show I've been meaning to check out about house baking, or maybe it was that cake flipping. Whatever, I don't remember, but we're just going to watch that until the whole thing blows over. Or you could, you know, just try and save yourselves. All sorts of cool stuff down here, though. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, dear. Uh, I do have some jumble, so let's eat that. And also, like... Oh, I didn't put my scuba mask on. 
Well, that was silly. That's better. Okay, let's go for it. So maybe you don't drown anymore then. Another vending machine. A soda vending machine. I think we already had the barbells, but I'll uh, I'll still take the stuff. Um, is that like an old style phone box? It is. Wow. Phone booth, one of five. Okay. More bricks and stuff. I'm glad I uh, sorted my inventory out before I came down here. Good grief, there's loads of stuff. But not the thing I want yet. I have not found the uh, damaged control panel. That's just their tablet, I think, or something, isn't it? That's just something to read. It looked like it could have been the control panel, but I don't think so. Can I take the TV apart? That doesn't look like it. Okay, keep going. What's this? Damage control panels, lovely. All right, I think I've been down here long enough. Got quite good stuff from there though, didn't we? Lots of boxes full of things. Oh, actually there's some bits in here as well. There's some more damage control panels there. And another box full of stuff and another Another truck. Kind of, I feel like I'm a bit close to my character there. Replace the blasting charge. Is there like a room in there that I can get? Oh, interesting. So if I make a blasting charge, I'll be able to get into a secret room down here. I remember where that is. Oh, there's more stuff. Every time I think I've got it all, I was like, oh, there's some more here, and there's some more here. Yes, yeah, so if I blast... If I blast the charge out of there... There's something on that plinth, and there's also a box full of rocks. But I, don't, I can't get it for now, so let's get back in the boat and head back. Because I do now have the, at least the repair panels. Uh, but I don't know exactly. It's, uh, it's this way, isn't it? Head for the lighthouse. I don't know exactly how to make the, the thing. So how to make the uh, replacement panel. Maybe that'll be a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> It's definitely going to be a problem for this episode. Because I want boat upgrades. Boat upgrades sound great. <laughs> Taurus leaving. You earned 150. What? 792 now. Wonderful. Alright, so control panel. I've got the damage control panels. So 
So... But as I was getting them, it didn't seem to be telling me, like, that I didn't have the recipe or whatever. So, campfire tent, shovel, axe, wrench, blasting charge. For that, I need a broken clock, which I have not found yet. Resource finder, friendship bracelets. Okay. So I'm not seeing it on this page. Or that page. Filter, cook pot, street lamp. Or that page. Control panel, there we are. Right, so can I make it on here? Yes, okay, right. And I need two metal frames. Other than that, I've got everything. Cool. Right, how do I make a metal frame is the next question. There. Two metal frames needs two metal beams. So we need four metal beams. So let's get the four metal beams going overnight. While we go and take a sleep and then we'll get that control panel done in the morning. Wonderful. Tea is so cold now. I tried to drink it so much. Mm. While it was still hot. I'll wash it down with some cola. Blech. I always have two drinks. Because if I'm going to do an hour and a half per, th per episode, I need two drinks. I need tea and like a soft drink. And the soft drink to wash away the taste of the cold tea. Mm -hmm. Right, so. I never decorate my house. <laughs> Maybe I will later. It's nice that they give me decorations. Because when they do give me decorations, I will decorate. But... I'm not exactly like, I'm making my beautiful house here. I'm off adventuring. Okay, so hopefully my metal beams are done now so we can make the metal frame. And then once that is done in one minute and a half, I'll be able to get the control panel together. Aha, these are looking very nice and done, aren't they? Yeah, let's keep watering these. And we'll have our own drummers. I wonder if I should uh, plant some more because I've got another one drummer seed. Whether I'm okay just having my own one little patch of drummers. I've not needed too much, too much of the meat jumble apart from when I forgot to put my scuba mask on. You done yet? No. Ages to go yet. Okay, I'm gonna go check the quest board. Uh, maybe I could check with Renard if there's anything to like do. Uh, that I could sell. No. Okay, so let's check for any quests. There aren't any. I can't do any selling yet, so. I guess that's okay. Definitely seems like the ship is, is the way forward right now. Come on. We're nearly there for the control panel. Ten seconds. And we're done. Over to my maker of things, my work table. And I have myself a rather wonderful control panel. Right, so let's head down to the dock and install that.
Lovely. Now talk to Anka. Where's Anka then? Anka does have like a shop somewhere as well. I think this is Anka's shop up here. Is Anka in his shop? Yes, he is. Ahoy, Sheila. You'll be finished with the repairs to the ship upgrade system, eh? Fine work. Fine work indeed. Now you'll be able to add upgrades to your ship and make it an even finer sailing vessel. Feel free to use it whenever you be wanting, since you did all the work. It'd only be right. That'd be the law of the sea. Ah, if it isn't my favourite sailor, Captain Shelab, have you come by to hear one of Anchor's harrowing tales of the sea? Sure. Be sure to check the bulletin board every now and then. You can often find jobs and important notices posted there. In case you don't know, the board be conveniently located right in the middle of town square, right near the big tree. Well, they aren't only there today. Alright, let's go and have a look at this then. Now we have talked to Anchor. And see what kind of upgrades we can put on the ship. Upgrade boat. Boat storage, boat headlamp. Oh yeah. 2,000 gold to put storage on the boat. Okay, and a boat headlamp will be 750. I'd rather drive in the dark. At the moment we have our little tiny headlamp thing. I don't know if we'll get more once we've done those ones. More options. Alright then, I need lots of money for everything, clearly. I don't know, I do not have lots of money. Uh, maybe I can sell things to Renard, but he gives me rubbish money. However, the tourists, when they come, give me a decent amount of money, so upgrading the tourist package will get me more money. So that's clearly the thing to do, right? I could definitely have more drumstick stalk seeds. I feel like I want to, um, and I think there's a, like a large planter. But I don't know how far through it I am. I'm just going to see if I can find it. A roundwood planter, a medium garden planter. I can put a few things into. I think it's the medium one I want. I think there might have been a large one as well, but maybe it was just medium. But like, yeah, I really want the, the, the medium garden planter. Okay. Okay. Let's run around and see if anyone else has got anything that they want us to do right now. Copper bottom certainly doesn't. Let's chat to Renard. <laughs> Welcome to Renard's discount products at quality prices. How may I help you today, Shelab? Uh, let's talk. Nine times to chit chat, Shelab. There's always another thing that needs doing. Doubloons aren't going to earn themselves. If I don't have what you're looking for, come back tomorrow. I restock daily with all new goods. All right, let's uh, do some trading then. You got oil. You've got a uh, rusty tank. I feel like that would be useful to buy. And to sell? Hmm. Plastic, mechanical parts. Bricks. Planks. Metal. I just feel like everything is just so so useful right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look in my chests because I've got chest stuff full of stuff, and I can't even make enough of this bonus package. It's like really old surfboard, rubber tire, plunger, cinder block. I definitely need a bigger um, farm, don't I? Oh, we need to do that, 100%. Golden egg for the museum, we need to keep that. Keep, 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 keep. And I'm such a hoarder. There's so, man so many things that are double ups here though. I can already see like two. I did have some salt, interesting. Oh, 
those seeds. Um, more mechanical parts. More plastic. I have 69 pieces of wood. Simple motor shells. Don't want to sell any of it though. Uh, the blush berries are great for pokey though. I should be giving this as a gift really. Poconuts and dragon fruit. And there's more metal there. Um, trash can lids. Like I know there's going to be something I'm going to need it for. It's so bad. I can't. Can't do it. Maybe I could sell the old looms. I expect those would be used for crafting a loom, right? And I already crafted a loom. Let's see about that then. Old loom. 12. Metal bars go for three. Oh man. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait until more quests come in. I I can't do this. Hey Tucker. Hey Sheila. Have you considered upping the intensity of your routine? Uh, sure. Um. Okay, we've had this conversation already. Sammy's at work. I feel like I've kind of hit a slight snag here, you know? I feel like I've got things that I need to do that are going to cost me a lot of money. But I don't have any money. And it's not giving me any commissions right now. Oh, it is. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, just checking to see if you're paying attention uh, to me when I told you to check the bulletin board. Well done, Anchor. Well, you got me all excited then that there might be actually some un money earning potential. Hi! Ah, Shilab, you move so stealthily for someone with such a huge head. I think you gave me a heart attack. Fortunately, I recovered quickly. Did you want something? You know what? I literally can't remember that thing I always say. I feel like it's something I should know. Do you know what it is? You say zing. Oh, that's right. Phew, I'm certainly happy I ran into you today. I almost lost my zing. All right, then. So I feel like maybe I'm a little bit more, um, shall we say, on my own with this one. So I feel like maybe we should go dive in for a bit or something and just see what we can do. Hey, Pokey. Out of curiosity, Sheila, do you like following me around or is it something you needed? Let's talk. Let me give you some advice. Don't worry about what people say behind your back. If they're talking behind your back, it just means you're way ahead of them. Like, whatever. Oh, I didn't bring any blush berries. That's so annoying. How are we doing with Pokey? Well, we're nearly at three. Which is where Sammy was at when I think we got the... I think three might be friends, because that's like when we got the friendship bracelet. I don't know if Pokey does friendship bra bracelets, so it doesn't seem like a very Pokey thing to do, does it? Alright then, so we've got some dive spots and stuff. Um, I don't really want to be using my oxygen tanks just for these shallow ones, though. So we're just going to go for a dive. see what I can find because I kind of want to find some stuff to sell you know and I know that all of the scavenger balls have kind of redone themselves mechanical parts and metal ah I lost all of my stamina again. There was me like, yeah, I don't need my oxygen tank on for this one. It's really shallow. And then I'm like, oh no. Forgot how much worse that is. Maybe 
Maybe I could go out to like the islands as well and just go and scavenge around there as well. Do you need to wait until my actual oxygen is uh, is replenished? Yes, yes. Hop we go. A nice bit of nice little bit of scavenging there. We got a few things. We got a new cook pot. I certainly don't need that. I don't think I need a rusty gas can. Metal pipe, metal plate. So maybe a few of those things could go to Renard. Things that I can get back easily. Or remake easily. Maybe we should be selling those. Alright, Renard, let's have a Let's have a bit of a trade. So that is worth seven. Okay, that can go. That's worth eight. That can go. That's worth ten. That can go. That's worth seven. That can go. It's worth five. Keeping that. Metal beams are worth twelve each. Mm, cloth I could make in a loom, actually. Oh yeah, 848. We need 150 more. I'll sell all of those wooden planks. I'll make more. That's fine. I'm going to sell all of my bricks because I can make more and that's fine. Mechanical parts aren't worth very much. Hmm, okay. I think that's all I want to sell from that little thing, uh, but I've got like, uh, I only need 90 more and I can get the package. Okay, let's just see what we can do. Gotta be something in here that I can, I can sell, right? Sponge leaf lettuces, let's sell all of those. I seem to have got loads of them from somewhere. And soothing blueberries. I think that's sell those. Things like the old plunger. I wonder if that's gonna if we're gonna need that quite badly. Um, another old loom that we found somewhere. Salvage bed maybe we could maybe sell that. I don't think I'm gonna be making a bed anytime soon. Broken motors are gonna probably be useful for like simple motors. Tap that's probably gonna be useful. Stone and wood, very useful. Mm, I have a lot of metal. But that that's always useful. Metal is always useful, so let's not worry about that. I find rubber tyres a reasonable amount. So yeah, why don't we sell a few and keep a few? Alright, let's see how much I get from selling those. Just trying not to sell anything that I might suddenly be like... Suddenly be like, oh yeah, I need that. So those are two each. Those are five each. Twelve. Yes, we did it. Without even selling the tires. Okay, so I can do the upgraded tourist package from Checkmark. How may I help you today, Shelab? What do you have for sale? You have the upgraded tourist package. Increases the number of tourists that will arrive in, with the blah, 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 that will arrive in Crescent Cove by five. Bye. Mr. Cove is looking mighty fine, thriving even, but I know we can do better. You need more tourists. Top notch. 
More toys means more money, and more money means you can afford even more upgrades. It's a happy little cycle. But you know what they say, you've got to spend money to make money. I just so happen to be selling a big bonus tourist package, which will increase the number of tourists that show up with every cruise ship. The tourism board guarantees it. Buy that and you'll be well on your way to success. Yes. And the big bonus package is going to probably be several thousand, so let's have a look. The big bonus, oh, it's 5,000, yeah. A strong man cutout, a bikini cutout, standing parasol, an easel, a snack shack, and a hammock. Tavern blueprint, bait shop blueprint, furniture store blueprint, clothing shop blueprint, and cafe. Ah. Oh, why don't we save up for some of these then? Furniture store, bait shop. I think clothing store would be a good start because the tourists really want that. Hey, copper top. Or copper bottom even. Copper top. Greetings, Sheilab. This unit has located you to supply information. Sheilab does not currently have any means of dismantling salvage into its base components. This unit wishes to help meet person by supplying information about a recycler. Shilab will be able to use the recycler to assist them in the further construction of Critter Cove. Travel to an island known as Boomerang Bay and find a pictograph describing how to build the recycler. Once the knowledge has been added to your meat brain, you should build and replace one as soon as possible. Recycle for a better tomorrow. Recycler recipe. Lovely! So we're getting there. I need to open more shops and stuff as well. But we need some more money for that. Because, yeah, the more shops we have open, I imagine the more uh, the tourists are going to like it here and the more I'm going to get from them. I don't know when the tourists come. Let's have a look and see if it tells me, like, when they're due. Looks like a tourist thing, wasn't there? There we are. So, fun, shopping, food. See, all these things. Food carts. Cafe. I made 125 from the cafe. So if I had a clothing shop, and then I had all the the food, all these carts that I'm getting, I put them around the place. They could spend money at those as well. Ah, definitely clothing shop next, and the clothing shop's quite cheap as well. But so far, I've just been following quests along and assuming that I would get those as part of a quest, and I'd forgotten. Probably because it's been so many months since I last did anything on this. I'd forgotten that that was uh, what was needed. So, I'll probably do a little bit more salvaging and stuff. In my boat. Uh, let's go down to um, get the recycler and I'll salvage everything down there as well. Hmm, okay. Apparently I get to keep the bonus tourist package. I've got things in my inventory I probably shouldn't have, but uh, never mind. Let's just go. So where are we going? We are going to... This will be the last thing I do, by the way, I think. Find the recycler recipe. We are going north. So I need to kind of head around the island a bit. And then head to the north. I'll be happy to have storage on the boat. I can almost guarantee you I'll forget to empty it out though. Let's see, are we going the right way? Sort of go a little bit more this way, a little bit more pure north. I don't think it's this rock. beyond there, right? Oh yes, miles away. Wow. This is a big old, uh, a big old adventure. I can see something appearing out of the, at the great beyond. I think this might be it. Yep, seems to be. 
And somewhere on this island there will be a pictograph showing me how to build a recycler. So let's have a look. There's another one of these statues. Boomerang Bay. Let's have a look at the map and see what kind of... So there's one, two, three, four more islands over there. That one we've been to, that one we've been to, that one I don't think we've been to. I don't think we've been to those ones either. We went there because that's the oil rig. There's a dive spot there. And there's room for them to add more if they want to. Right then. So yeah, we're definitely going to be working on some some island stuff next time. So it's going to be very much like get the clothing shop up and running and get these people that I'm rescuing from these islands doing something. I think that's the pictograph for the recycler. I have learned how to make one now. Wonderful. So when I'm finding things like bin lids, I can scrap them down into metal if I don't think I want to use them for being a bin lid, for example. I'm not sure if that's actually collapsible. It actually doesn't look like it. It looks like I'm just... using my... Uh... Okay, that's not a shell I can pick up. I was trying to pick up that shell. Wow, look at this coral. It's so colourful. And like, can I has? And the game is like, no. And I'm like, oh. So I'm thinking... That if I go in here, there might be something. Alright, that's going to take diving mask, definitely. But I want to know. Oh, is it on? Yes. Okay. I want to know what's down here. Got a couple of oxygens, so gather sea star fruits. Wow. Oof. Okay, I can get through there if I replace the blasting charge. Right. I still have one more oxygen tank after this one, so I think I can go down here and just check out what's down here. I am feeling a little bit nervous about this. Gather more sea star fruits. I see a ton of stuff down here I can gather though. I wonder if sea star fruit is one of the things that I can grow. Okay, and we are here, wherever here is. There seems to be some kind of like super secret pirate thing here. Charcoal grill. Hmm, nice. Let's see if I can find my way around this boat. Can I go under and in? 
No, I don't think I can. Okay. Go up these rocks. Can I get onto it that way? Pitcher plant. Oh. I have learned how to make a tin can. Woohoo. I may as well salvage this bending machine while I'm down here. Another pitcher plant. Why is there like a rubber ducky hanging from a string there as well? That looks like it might go somewhere as well. I need to check that out. Hey, okay. there's also a ice cream truck up here. <laughs> Woof. Balloons again. Then I feel like I kind of need to jump from here and try and get the rubber ducky. Oh no! Can I even get into the boat from here though? I can't do it from here. I have to go all the way around, I think. Is there even anything on the boat, though? I feel like I've dived all the way around here. Or that I should at least try and get onto the boat, even if it takes a couple of goes. Maybe the rubber ducky is just, just there to annoy me. That plant is there to annoy me. That was purposely there to trip me up. Definitely. Because you want to go from the very, from the part that's the most um, easy to jump from and they happen to put one plant there, really, yeah. So from here, you can probably try and jump over there and see if you can get the rubber ducky or you can just drop down onto the boat from there and have a look around, which is what I'm going to do this time. Okay, and there is a magical crown here a golden crown so i think that there might also be something along those lines in the in the mansion as well okay so now i want now i've kind of got the golden crown i want to my injuries have been healed okay interesting clearly not all of them have there's also a blast door down here, so I need to try and, like, get that as well. But, okay, so we dived, we found a golden crown. There's some more of that seaweed stuff there. Okay, and I think I need to dive again and get back home. That was cool, wasn't it? A lot of that sea star fruit, and like I say, maybe I'll be able to plant that or something in the uh, underwater planters that I've just gotten. I'm a bit concerned about the oxygen. I think I have another tank, so I think I'll be okay. That was certainly an interesting so boomerang island has some interesting stuff on it definitely 
haven't even explored the rest of the island. Let's zoom out a bit. I'm not 100% certain what I need to do with these uh, statues either. If anything. They just seem to be there. Maybe I'll need them later. There's an interesting little dock thing over here. Looks like there's some sort of diving platform. Oh, that's very glowy and interesting looking. What's that then? An antique fishing spear. So we're finding things for the museum all over the place. But we haven't actually got the museum up and running yet. Oh, hi. Interesting, there's people here. Roman, well hello there stranger, fancy meeting you way out here. Most fortuitous I say, most fortuitous indeed. So, what do you know about radio and weather, weather radio, a weather forecast that's sent over the radio? I suppose other things could be broadcast over the radio too, but I'm not sure what the point would be. Maybe a play or something? Never mind that. Isaac and I are going to start a radio station, but we need that radio tower to not be broken. It needs to be fixed, working again. Do you want to be in on the ground floor? Sure you do. Who wouldn't want to invest in an up-and-coming business? Well, not really a business. More like a hobby. But you look like you want to invest anyways. I can already tell you're excited, intrigued, enthralled even. I just realised I don't know who you are. I'm Roman, and that fella over there is my brother Isaac. I'm Shelab. Well, it looks like we ain't strangers anymore. Fast friends, pals, buddies most likely. So it's settled. You're going to help your new friends build this here radio tower and start a weather forecast station. We just need a few bits and bobs to start. Okay. First things first, we need some beams, wires and electronic doohickeys to get everything set up again. I bet you won't have any problems getting those for us. Shouldn't do. Radio killed the stage star. Uh, they have asked me to lend a hand. Oh good. I do have the things. Ten metal beams, five wires and three power boxes. I've been collecting power boxes. Um, around the base of the rig, I found a few. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll have enough. I think I might be one short. But that's cool. So we're going to sort out that radio tower. It looks like there's some bananas or something there. A nana. Indeed there are nanas here. Gonna run out of stamina soon. I probably should get home. Brain freeze treats. I want all the nanas. All right, I'm gonna have to come back here anyway, so I may as well like leave and go home. And come back later if need be. So uh, my boat I think is over this way. Yeah. I'll have a bit more of an explore another day. But yeah, a whole new island to explore today. That was wonderful, wasn't it? So now I have to make sure that I'm going the right way to get home. Right, I am definitely facing the right way. So we just keep going this way and I should be able to get home. And then I better edit this video and put it out so you guys can watch it. Oh, it's been fun today though, hasn't it? Definitely next episode, we're going to start making things. So we'll start making clothing shop. I'll sell enough stuff to get that. Maybe I'll do enough uh, quests and things like that. Maybe I just need to make stuff and sell it to Renard. keeping so much junk but I, I always worry that like the next thing that'll happen oh yeah I've had that one uh, that the next thing that will happen will be that I'll need a bin lid or something and I won't be able to find one do you know what I mean <laughs> that's why I'm being a bit of a bit of a hoarder with things at the moment ah 
anchor, looking out over the waves. But I shall park in my usual parking place, which is here. By the boat upgrade. Right, so next time we can make a recycler. We can also maybe look at upgrading the boat. Maybe, but it's 2,000. The next tourist package is 5,000. So we're really going to start, need to start making a bit more money, aren't we? Um, at the moment, we're not making very much money, but I'm hoping that we'll have another tourist boat in soon. I don't know how often they come in and all that sort of thing. Oh, there's a like open sign. I want to put that by the cafe, I think. Since when did I have that? Can I rotate it? Let's put that down there. It's cute. Oh. Oh no, that should be where the ferry comes in then, shouldn't it? I didn't realise that was an actual sign. I'm going to put it down on the docks where the ferry comes in. Which is usually around here. There we are. I hope that means that more tourists will come in. And that I will make more money. Because I really need more money right now. I spent all my money on the bonus tourist package. And I wonder if I should have spent more of it on shops. But yeah, I don't know how often tourists come in. And I'm still trying to work it out. Like they came the other day. Ten tourists have visited already. So do they like come every day? Radio forecast. Ah, so that's what's going to happen when we fix the radio tower, isn't it? It's going to help us with our tourists somehow. And I've got my employees. The workshop and we've got the cafe. Alright then, so yeah, just we're going to make a bit more money. Uh, I will go and do a bit more scavenging and all that sort of thing and we'll... Try not to be quite so hang on to everything. Um, I might sort of try and process more things in bulk as well. In the workshop and, and just try and do things there. So we'll just sleep till morning. I will. I don't have to wait until the end of the day, but this time I will. Because it's a bit less confusing when I start in the morning in my house. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Critter Cove, please subscribe. I'll let you know when videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.